CR Saren versus CC. All right, Put Saren versus CC up in here. All right, let's do this. CC got him to go Sonic against uh, Game and Watch. Uh, yeah. So you don't know CC. I know CC. He's actually part of my crew. Uh, okay. He is the terror of Middle Georgia. Always, all well, until recently, we had a a Wario that would go toe to toe with him, but he just left. Yeah. So CC is fairly uncontested in the Middle Georgia area. Hmm. I know. Yeah, but uh, CC, I'm not sure he's too familiar with this match. Yeah, and I feel like uh, Sonic Side B will uh, like. If, if Siren doesn't put something up to get rid of that side B, it won't. It'll just do so much. Yeah. Uh, well, the spin dash is definitely one of Sonic's main tools. Now, uh, did you watch Momocon at all and watch Wrath play? Uh, I watched Wrath play a match where he pushed B four million times. Yeah, and that's very much what we're going to be seeing here. Yeah. Now, I mean, it it may be less than amazing to watch, but again, you have to respect doing what you have to do to win. Yeah, and like uh, what Wrath is doing was he was like perfect pivoting into into side B, into shield cancel, like, bop. So, tech but, skill is pretty important. Yeah. Now, uh, Saren actually has a lead, so CC is for forced to approach. Now, that's not normally where Sonic wants to be. Oh, no, not at all. Yeah. Just, if you can get a grab like that. Yeah, I like the mix-up right there. Oh, yeah. Definitely a very good mix-up. Uh, just conditioning a shield is very good in this game, but once you get rid of that conditioning, you're probably not going to get it back. Yeah. I love how he's going to op opting to go for, like, slower spin dashes. It's mixing up the speed of the spin dash instead of like mixing up the length of it is definitely it's definitely pretty big. Yeah, it definitely throws people off. Yeah. Wow. Did you just jump cancel a side B? I mean, I know it's a thing, but I didn't know how to do it. Or that's <laughs> what I was doing. <laughs> nice air oh! dodge into the up smash though. Uh, ledge sweet spots. Yeah, I feel yeah. like he was trying to sweet spot the ledge and just misspaced it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now. Oh, <laughs> CC jab. going for the hardest of reads on the get up. But game and watch jab just going out that fast. Yeah. I think it's, I don't know what frame it is, but it's uh, I'm not 100% sure either. I feel like CC's going to be fishing a little bit for his pivot grab. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah that's going to take the stock. That looks like, I think back throw will take it off the ledge at this point. Yeah. Will we, will we see a back throw? You? Yep. Yeah. Oh, Death? oh good no, DI. No, 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 no. Good DI. Also, no rage on, on Sonic. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. Be oh, no punish. Now, CC's struggling a little bit to get the stock. It's definitely one of Sonic's downfalls, but CC has the patience to just rack on damage, find his opening, and get the kill. Oh, yeah. Uh, but you know, Game & Watch over there being extremely light, he, he'll die earlier to stuff than uh, a lot of other characters will. So I feel like that'll definitely help uh, CC in this, in this case. Just, just like the lightness of Game & Watch, that'll like, just, it'll just help him a lot. Now I like the, the similarity between the two characters. Normally the up B is considered Sonic's get out of jail free card. Anytime he whiffs an attack or anything, he'll just up B to get out of there immediately. And you see Saren doing the same thing with Game & Watch. Yeah, if you just miss a jab, out. <laughs> Yeah. Trapeze. The forward tilt. No jump. All right, we made it. Nice right. back air into the wind box. Ooh. That right. looked gross. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Game Watch definitely does a ton of interesting interactions with the, the wind boxes. It does a lot of weird things. He, I think he's more of like a wild card character. Yeah. I feel like a lot of the reason Saren wins sometimes is his character is just a little bit unconventional. Saren's definitely a solid player. I've known him since the Brawl days, and he plays every game, so his basics are solid. Yeah, it takes a lot of like time and concentration to play all four games and be consistent. It is ridiculously hard, I've been told. Now, I say four games, or I think both of us said four games. He actually plays five. You know that unofficial one, and then 64. <laughs> <laughs> the unofficial one. Yeah. Uh, we got a few setups over there, though. You know. Yeah, it's nice to see the game played again. It's yeah. just unfortunate what happened to it. Not as unfortunate as what happened to Brawl. Brawl just died completely. Ice Climbers, why? Oh, Ice Climbers wasn't that bad. But we're not going to yeah. talk about Brawl. <laughs> we're going to talk about Sonic. I mean, uh, Smash 4. <laughs> well, Sonic does kind of define how some people see Smash 4. Because he's like, this. Everyone, most Melee players see this game as like, this is rather slow and boring. Now he's committed. All right. Uh, they see it as this is rather slow and boring, and Sonic is. Some Sonics are I the mean, epitome of sad, yeah, slow he's and boring. definitely the embodiment of that. But at the same time, when you look at high-level melee play, like especially HBox, you see him being a lot more patient, and there's a reason he was winning for so long. Because people didn't know how to deal with it, because they yeah. were so used to going bop, 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 yeah, and stop. and like just changing up the the pace of the game and doing what you have to do to win. Definitely throw people off, and it's definitely good. Yeah. Like, like, people eight. people crucified Wrath after Momocon, and even Zero came out and said, hey, I mean, Sonic's good, but there's a reason 
Wrath was the only Sonic in top eight at Momocon, despite yeah. the fact that 6WX and Seagull, Joe will be there. We're still there and doing well. <laughs> yeah. Like, they did very well, just not well enough to make top eight. Yeah. And being able to slow the match down, as you said, is very crucial, but some characters can't do that. Yeah. Like, a lot of them have the potential to just run away and hide, but that's not enough to slow it down. So, we're, we're getting down to about a minute left. Uh, I'm not sure if CeCe's going to be aggressive or if he's going to keep running away. It looks like he's opting to run away. Because he has the percent lead. Yeah. I don't think Game Watch can get that back because Sonic is just so fast. Yeah. If he can just run away for a little bit longer, I think he'll be good. Uh oh, oh. <laughs> the down smash. That. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's got to be very careful. Very careful with this recovery. Oh. Oh. This oh. is the ledge. This is the platform, even. Yeah. That's yeah. so unfortunate. Whenever you see somebody go for the ledge and, they, and they're like halfway through it or barely above it, and they just miss. Yeah. It's so unfortunate. Now. I can't blame CC for going for the timeout, but at that point, I definitely agree with his choice. I feel like uh, a pivot grab on on Angelo would have gone a long way, especially because, again, he's game watch. He's super light. Basically, anything would have killed him, and he was just trying to play a little bit too safe. Yeah. Just, like, sometimes if you are playing safe, you've got to go out there and be a little bit aggressive. Because like, you can't yeah. just rely... You can't rely specifically on one type of play because then people are going to find that out and then do exactly what it is, do whatever it is that it blocks what you do. All right, so we s see a salty run back almost immediately back to Smashville. Oh yeah, that was quick. It's like frame perfect, frame one. Let's do this. <laughs> frame one transition. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Almost uh, a timeout. CC I falling back to to a Sonic stuff just. Canceling and spin dash into shield. Dash and shield. Yeah. Perfect pivot into spin dash into shield. That takes a lot of tag skill. Yeah. That, I, I admire Sonics who can do that like 400 times in a row because that requires so much tech skill. Also, you know, again, I keep saying it, but the patience it takes to do that and, oh, and yeah. not approach. Now, we see CC with a much larger lead this time. As long as he sweet spots the ledge on all his recoveries, this will probably be a different game. Oh, yeah. yeah. I feel like, well, obviously, if he hadn't lost the first stock last game, it would have been much different. Oh, what was that? Did he piece you like the last frame? <laughs> oh, oh, forward smash. Very good. Oh, but he gets so Oh, oh and no the tech. stage spike. Oh, no tech. No Think tech. He's on oh. top smash, taking the stock immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it when stuff like that happens. Like, oh, I finally, I worked so hard to get this kill and you're just getting bodied. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> It's Sonic, he's fast, he had invincibility. What are you going to do when you're, you're Game & Watch? You can't run yeah. away from him. Because when you have invincibility, it's a whole separate game. Because you can do stuff you weren't able to do before, like run up up and smash at yeah. 80%. And not get punished. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So, again, uh, I would like CC to, to play a little bit more aggressive. Oh, yeah. But that's definitely not his style. He seems to be a very patient player and very decisive player with that. Yeah. It's like definitely moments, definitely cool. one of the things I get super frustrated at about our locals is, like, I play Luigi. I can I can in theory out camp him, but I get so impatient and he doesn't. Yeah, it's it's a matter of like how endurant are you for being not doing things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So CC with a solid lead right now, but we saw how that worked out for him uh, last, last stock yeah. and last game. <coughs> uh, very. Like this could be this could be a you could time him out if he tried really 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 hard for three minutes. Now at this point I really wouldn't even worry about timing and him out. And that's death. No, nope, it's not. Good di. Yeah. Good di. Good di. Well, yeah, you're right. You wouldn't worry about a timeout because we got like almost we had we have about three minutes left. So that's good. Uh, Still not gonna die. Not yeah, not close enough to the ledge. The patches. Gonna All patch right. up these broken. Gonna patch up these broken pants you now. Yeah, uh, at this point, I think Saren would go for a lot more judgment. Oh, oh wow. wow. Was not expecting that to kill off the top. I, I definitely agree with it. That was probably a DI mix-up because right. he's like, all right, I'm at kill percent. I'm at around 150. He's probably going to go for the back throw. Got no. the pummels in to refresh, and he's like, nah, man, you're going off the top. You out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that was a good up throw, though. Yeah, yeah, that was a good up throw. Very good mix-up. Shout-outs to water and staying hydrated at a tournament. <laughs> Super important. Super mega important. Yeah. Like, I didn't get a water, and I lost. <laughs> Uh huh? <laughs> I didn't drink any water and I lost. Just saying. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, they're out of water and I'm super dehydrated. Super upset about it too, because I yeah. I've been severely dehydrated for a little bit. It makes yeah. me sad because I can't do anything. <laughs> All right, so we're going to game three. Neither player approaching. You know, Smash Four status, right? Yeah, but. 
28, but 44 percent with just like three strings. Yeah. 59. Wow. It's it's ridiculous how fast Sonic can put on percent, but how much trouble he has killing sometimes. Yeah. And even then, sometimes he might have trouble getting on percent. Yeah. And, wow. That, and Sonic is ridiculous. It's not even because Saren's getting impatient, because you saw for like the first 30 seconds he did not approach. He just got opened up once, and now he's just having trouble recovering. Yeah. So we're going back to neutral. CC's going to camp it out. Yeah, this is definitely a very bad position for Saren, because this is this is the last game, right? This is good. But this is good. This is definitely good for uh, CC. But Saren just going to have to find some way around this this, this ridiculous, like, uh, patient play style. Because this is... This is very, very patient Sonic, and he just doesn't doesn't care. Like yeah. you're gonna stand there, <laughs> I'm gonna stand here. We're gonna watch the clock, you know. Like. Mm. Oh, goes for his grab mix up, gets punished for it just a little bit. Yeah. Nair, uh, not no, quite I, enough to kill. But Nair actually, actually kills pretty early for uh, on the watch. Normally, yeah, but this is a battlefield, so. So you know. Yeah, it evens out. Nair doesn't kill, so a four fifty here. <coughs> All right, trying to catch him with a jump doesn't quite get it though. Uh, yeah. He's probably looking for either the pivot grab or some kind of sneaky smash attack. Yeah, but uh, CC t not CC. Uh, Saren taking this back actually, bringing it back a little bit. Just but a little bit. But at what cost? Like 157 and 86 earlier, you were at like 105. Like, oh, forward throw. <laughs> I, I'm surprised that killed. Like, what? what is this? Like, <laughs> yeah, Sonic, this is, you got to kill fast. I right? mean, this is Battlefield, so, and then, <laughs> yeah, I guess Game & Watch is super light, but yeah. you almost never see CC kill with the forward throw. Uh, you again, rarely see Sonic's kill with the forward throw. <laughs> yeah, probably another just good DI mix-up. He was maybe expecting an up throw, because oh, he was... he committed. Yeah, he now was... <laughs> Uh-oh. All right. Also, whenever, you, whenever you're, like, fully charged for spin dash, you can just bounce around. You can just jump around, and I love doing that to my friend. He's like, what are you doing? I tell him, you need to stop. And wait a minute. And think about what you've done. Now that spring itself actually has a hitbox. Right? Yeah. And it's very good for gimping. It can give it gimps Wario. Oh, I like. am aware. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi. Yeah. Oh. oh, you got my jump. All right, I'm dead. I mean, we probably won't see that against Game Watch just because his up B has uh, so much invincibility. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Like you can't hit it. <laughs> yeah, and it it comes out so fast. Good tech. Uh oh. Shield angling. This is cool. All right, <coughs> about three minutes left on the clock. Yeah, not even the first stock taken off of CC. He needs to find a way to get this off. I feel like, oh, the upstairs. Oh, wow. I, I definitely feel like, uh, C not CC, Siren, Siren, or however you pronounce it. Like, whenever Sonic up B is out, you should try and bait an air dodge and then go for the up air. <sighs> condition the air dodge. Uh, yes and no. CC's a solid player, so he might get hit by it once, and but he'll never get hit by again. So, I mean, you, you can work on the condition, and then CC can throw you off by doing something completely stupid like doing the down air, yeah. and that will kill him. He's a good enough player to realize that you're trying to condition me. I'm going to recondition you to do something. Forward throw? Yeah. Nah. Battlefield, we live in. I'm mildly surprised we saw a grab instead of a forward smash there. It looked like, he, oh, that'll be it. Yeah, that's, that's out. Yeah. All right, GG's in both. That was good. That was good. That was a good set. Very good set. All right. Uh, let's get Kamikaze. 